In a new report released by the American Lung Association, almost all cities in San Luis Obispo County got a failing grade for not banning all flavored tobacco products. KSBY News reporter Delaney White spoke to city leaders about plans for restrictions moving forward. Delaney? City leaders in San Luis Obispo say that despite earning an F grade on this report, there are no plans currently in place to impose further restrictions. And other city leaders agree that the current restrictions are strong enough. A report released by the American Lung Association shows all cities in San Luis Obispo County except one earned an F grade for restrictions on flavored tobacco products. Morro Bay earned a D. To see that letter D grade come back is, is shocking. City manager Scott Collins says they've worked hard to bring the grade up, but there was no change from last year. He says the city bans indoor and outdoor smoking in most public places, created a tobacco retail license program, and came up with money for enforcement. But retailers can't agree on whether menthol is a flavor aimed at kids or adults. They disagree with the findings that, uh, that menthol is, is sort of a, a flavor of choice for kids. It's the other kind of flavors that really what draw kids into vaping. Allowing the sale of menthol-flavored tobacco products is what landed most of San Luis Obispo County with a failing grade. While the city of San Luis Obispo bans menthol and mint vaping products, that ban does not extend to tobacco. We had the most strict ban in the county so far. And there is no plan to expand the ban in the future. Not at this time. It's not on the agenda um, forecast. Some cities in San Luis Obispo County fared much better in the reducing sales of tobacco products category. Arroyo Grande, Grover Beach, Morro Bay, and San Luis Obispo all received an A. And in Santa Barbara County, multiple cities received an A, including Carpinteria, Guadalupe, and Santa Maria. Retailers have long argued menthol tobacco products have a long history and shouldn't be banned. Most cities restrict menthol vaping products, but not tobacco. Collins says the exemption for menthol cigarettes shouldn't have that much of an effect on the grade. Again, to get, get a, a D grade just because of one exemption doesn't make sense. The tobacco control program manager tells me there has been some discussion about the criteria used to grade this report, and they might have new information as soon as tomorrow. Reporting in San Luis Obispo, Delaney White, KSBY News. All right, Delaney, thank you. And for more information about the tobacco control grade your city received, you can visit KSBY.com.